What up? It's night nine now here in the G1 Climax simulation. The real life G1's actually kicked off. And the first two nights are in the books as of recording this. Night two just occurred, I've just watched it. Uh, good stuff. But in our simulation, we're much further on. Um, I've had, I've been doing stuff with friends. I recently bought a Nintendo Switch, so I've been playing the shit out of that. Uh, I'll be going back to uni tomorrow, so the uploads are going to be a little bit, you know, sort of hectic, sort of not really following any schedule, but I hope to record at least one a day going forward. And we're almost halfway there, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too hard for me, yeah? Anyway, looking at the brackets, here's the A block standings in case you've forgotten. That's B block. Tanahashi still undefeated on top there, Suzuki not far behind him. The likes of Okada, Evil, Yoshihashi, Elgin, and White are all tied. Hangman Page also in that uh, group. Then Farley and Makabe down there on the bottom. And next match is going to be between Jay White and Bad Luck Farley. Our first match tonight. Uh, Farley and the Chad Blade. Let's go. Jay White actually had a pretty impressive showing in his real life G1 match. We're not going to talk about the real life G1 match. This is a simulation. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, uh, simulation. It didn't perfectly predict everything. What's what's going on? What's what's the haps? You know, Yoshihashi didn't win the first two matches. Look, I'm sorry, but sometimes, sometimes life just doesn't go as we plan. You know, <laughs> simulation. It wasn't quite accurate this year. Uh, we've already seen, but you know, I guarantee you, at the very least, the winners of these books, they they will go on to advance. Don't you worry. And Farley and White here kicking things off. Ooh. Good power by Jay White. He hits a snap man here. Chop missing. And Farley goes into that scoop slam. Now into a chin lock. To switchblade Jay White. Young up and coming star. Seems to have a very bright future ahead of him. He gets forearmed there. Uh, the main event later tonight is going to be between Elgin and Suzuki. And we'll have the match of the undefeated Tanahashi against the not yet one Togi Makabe. 4 0 against 0 4. And I believe soon we'll start being able to calculate people who are, you know, out of competition. But we'll start doing that probably after night six, after the sixth night of each, you know, block. So now around, I think night 13 is when I'm going to start being like, okay. You know, here's who is out of contention, here's who is not, you know. I think that's, that's probably the easiest point to start doing that. Good scoop slam by White, or if I can notice something before that. Like if Marco Bay goes 0-5, there's no way he's winning, he's he's done. <laughs> and if, if Farley loses this, he's 1-4, eh, he's pretty much done as well. Let's so go back and forth here, these strikes. Farley knowing that a loss here could pretty much cancel him out of a G1 victory. He loses here. The max amount of points he's going to be able to get is 10, which probably won't be enough. Especially if Tanahashi wins. He puts himself on, on 10. White now dragging Farley back to the middle. The legs around the neck of Farley. Powers out. Forearm doesn't connect. Oh, a big knee to the midsection. Now, on the back with that camel clutch goes Farley. Pushes him off. Another tie base, sidewalk slam. Oh, I stopped the thigh. DDT connecting. Actually, yeah, a Marker Bay loss means the most he can get is 8 points. And Haha should be on 10, so yeah, a Marker Bay loss pretty much. But it does count him out, he can't win. Bad luck fall! But I could have this quickly here. No, he gets the shoulder up. Jay White's still in it. He ties up with Farley. Scoop slam. Oh, a headbutt. By Farley. Dropkick doesn't connect. Roll up. No, oh, roll you over. Pin. And Jay White stays alive again. Good forearm. Oh, clothesline doesn't connect. DDT by Jay White. Stomp to the midsection. Headbutt by White. Now, choking. 
with those thighs of Switchblade. Breathe in with Switchblade. Ooh, Strike doesn't connect. Ooh, series of strikes here. Strike in combination by Switchblade. As he goes behind, attempts to suplex, but can't. Gets elbowed off the ropes. They both charge. Clariot doesn't connect. Oh! Blade Runner by Jay White! But finally's the first one up. No selling. Jay White's finisher. Farley! Suplex, no. White countering. It's a suplex of his own. Pulled the blade run out of nowhere. And it didn't quite work out for him. Oh, suplex. Standing suplex. Centering. But again, Farley gets up after being having the move delivered on him. The corner. Farley. It's just set for a bad luck fall there almost. White gets out of it. Oh, a choke slam by Farley as he rips elbow across the chest. Another tie up. Headbutt by Farley. And headbutt by Jay White to the top now. Elbow drop. Now pulling Farley back to the center. Standing him up. Tie up. Strike in combination. Palm strike to close it out. White now. Oh, good takedown. Into the pin. Just the 10 minute mark passes. Oh, Farley throws the shoulder up. Now off the ropes comes Jay White. Knee taking Farley down. Back up goes Switchblade. High risk, elbow drop. Going back to that high rent district. And another, oh no, he misses. Farley, can he capitalize? Doesn't seem like he wants to. He turns up again and running power slam. Farley, momentum back in his direction. The big bad Tongan Blade Runner again by White. Rolls him over, this has got to be it. Two. No. Farley kicks out. The ropes, they both come again. Oh, a diving forearm. Now on top, raining forearms in on Farley. The ruthless tactics of Jay White. The fans here in Japan. Spies Switchblade. His underhanded tactics. He doesn't fight with honor. Just something they value very much here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Another drop toe hold. And White staring down at Farley. There goes my phone. Ignore that. <laughs> Up top. White again with the elbow. But he's down. He can't capitalize on this because he's also down. No, they're both up simultaneously. Belly to belly suplex. That was Facebook notification. Ignore that. Back body drop there by Farley as he drags White back to the middle. Picking him up. Grabbing a hole. Double underhook. Another takedown by White. Pin. One. Two. Three. Jay White picks up the victory. With a takedown, sort of understated, sort of a bit of a bit of letdown. In the end, Jay White picks up the victory, and, and Farley now on two points with four matches left. It's looking really, really bad for him in terms of standings. But White up onto six, you know that may help him a lot. So we got a sex match, a uh, sex match. Our next match. <laughs> Go between Evil and Hangman Page. Yeah, Jay White's up on six now. Not bad. But Evil and Hangman Page. Both these guys on four points. Two wins apiece. They're both two and two. One of these men will get up to a winning record. Up to six points. Keep themselves in pretty good position. One win behind the current block leader, Hiroshi Tanahashi. But Tanahashi could make that gap stronger if he wins tonight against Makabe. Scoop slam by Evil. Evil dressed in the black and purple. Good kick out there. So now Circle on a tie up. Test of strength. Ooh, kick doesn't connect. Good punch. Oh! Striking back. Evil with a scoop slam. He now goes to drag Adam Page back to the middle of the ring. Good forearm. Oh, it strikes back and forth between them. This is a strong style match right here. 
Shades of King's Road. Whoa, dropping down. But it's going to be... Oh, Red Shoes got knocked over by Hangman. He's still down. And Evil going to try and drag Hangman away from the ropes. Red Shoes is bleeding. Hangman. Now the stomp. Sort of in control here. As he throws Evil to the ropes. Oh, but Evil with a running knee. Takes him down and works on the lower leg. As far as Red Shoes is still able to do his job here with the blood streaming down his face. Ooh, look at that. Holding onto the ropes. Oh, chops back and forth now. Jesus, you can hear that. The sound of that chop across the chest of Evil. He's a big guy too. Swinging neckbreaker. Hey man, uh, surprised a lot of people with a victory of a bad luck bar in his first G1 match. How will he fare here against Evil? Oh, out of the ring he goes. Evil posing, taunting Adam Page. And now, Page. Stomping that knee, the right knee of Evil. Oh, a forearm, the point of the elbow hitting the nose directly in a swinging outbreaker again. Evil into the pin. Under five minute victory here, maybe, no. Adam Page, no, uh oh, uh oh, Evil with a suplex to the outside, Bulls Hangman. Following him back out, swinging neckbreaker again on the outside now, Evil. Oh, slip of Pensagiri by Page. Hangman has a chair, I like where this is going, Evil's in. Oh, a chair to the midsection, swings wildly, hoisting him up, suplex. Tie up once more. Super kick by Hangman! He brought the chair into the ring. Underhanded tactic. Oh, Evil with a measured punch straight to the top of the head. And again. Repeated blows. Here comes a scoop slam, sending Evil out now. As Hangman goes to the outside. What do they do out here? It's a dangerous place to be out here. The floor is made of wood. You got that padding, but it's not very thick. Trust me, you got that steel railing. To be thrown into. Oh, look at this Boston Crab! Arching it back. Dangerous height. Oh, dropping evil. Page back in. Count yeah, 12 now. And drop kick to the chest as evil drops to the ground. Oh, sidewalk slam. Trying to drag him back. Oh, the discus elbow doesn't connect. Evil! Has he got it here? No! Only the 2.9. Good suplex there by Page. They're both down now. Oh god, that series of strikes there. Evil going behind, no forearm to the back. Going behind side, walk slam. Oh, I punch straight to the dome. Oh, swing, Larry, it doesn't connect. As Hangman sends Evil to the ropes, is knocked down. Evil. Up top now. Santon connects. Dragging Hangman. We can back up. Drop toe hold there by Hangman Page. Dropping the knee across the back of Evil. Tie up once more. Forearm. Chop. Back and forth they go. This strike exchange. Evil. Discus Lariat. But Hangman straight back up. Forearm. Headbutt by Evil. The sickening sound of skull on skull. And now, trying to get Hangman to tap out here. Can't quite do it. Hangman pulls Evil away from the ropes. Stomp to the thigh. And again, the thick thighs of Evil. 
forearm. Ooh. More strikes don't connect. Crowd is hot for this one. Oh, a power slam there. Two. No. That, that could have been it almost there, but Evil getting out of it as he goes with the headbutt again. Tie up. Hangman with the cradle. The exploder suplex too. 2.9. That Northern Light suplex, I think it was. Not an exploder. Dragging Hangman back to the center. Off the ropes. Evil going for that senton. Maybe connects. Big boy senton. Drop toe hold onto the chair. Hangman now. Hitting the ropes. Close line. Chop doesn't connect. Super kick once more. Is that it? No, he's pulling Evil straight back to his feet. Going for something else. Discus forearm. Roaring elbow. One. Two. Throw. Evil kicks out again. Evil. Everything is evil. That's it. Evil picks up the victory. A second shy of a 14 minute mark. As Adam Page taps out. Seven have a face lock. Victory by evil. And now we're going to go into our third match here tonight. It's going to be between the block leader Hiroshi Tanahashi, man who is 4-0 in his record, up against Togi Makabe, who is 0-4. A top versus the bottom. Number one versus number 10. A loss here means the most amount of points Makabe can possibly get will be 8. And Tanahashi will be on 10. So a loss here will count Togi Makabe out of the G1. And even a win will still make it difficult, losing his first four matches. And a win here for Tanahashi. It certainly doesn't secure the block. But boy, does it make it a whole lot easier for him. <laughs> It'll be two matches clear. I believe the next closest is Suzuki. And he... He's set to face Elgin later tonight. If he loses, then yeah, Tanahashi's got that big, big lead. Maybe everyone else in the block. This is do or die for Togi Makabe. If there was any time where he needs to come out and shine, it is now. Jawbreaker there by Tanahashi. Dropping the elbow. What's Tanahashi in the tights? Irish whip. Holds on. Counters with the back body drop. Tanahashi now off the ropes. And a flipping scent on there. Oh, a forearm. And another jawbreaker there. Tanahashi off the ropes. Sling blade! How I love the sling blade into the pin here. One, two, no. Almost put him away early. The sling blade, which uh, if, you, if you play Tekken 7, uh, Lars recently got an outfit that makes him look like Tanahashi and changes his rage art to the sling blade, which I think is pretty cool. As they both go down here. Tanahashi. Irish whip once more. No. Drop kick, no. <laughs> oh, look at that strike right to the head. And a suplex connects. Chop straight to the head, Tanahashi down as Makabe drags him away from the ropes. Tying up. Step up, Enzagiri once more. Trying to circle each other here. Tie up. Tanahashi no gets counted to back body drop by Makabe. Elbow to the back. Five minutes pass. Oh, pile driver by Makabe. Bridging, more than light suplex, no. Swinging, neck breaker. Right break there. Oh, strong forearm. Trying to grab a hold here. Kick to the midsection. 
Can I get him back to the middle? Off the ropes comes Tanahashi. Swing blade again! Two! No! Oh, Marker Bay's hopes stay alive. Briefly. Bridging Northern Lights Suplex by Marker Bay! Only the count of one though. Tanahashi with one of his own there, but no. Let's kick out. Suplex with the bridge! No. It's a tough battle here. My goodness. Tanahashi. Oh, a kick to the back of the head. Forearm. Drop him down. Oh, missing wildly down to Tanahashi. High five blow your next critical. Oh my god. <laughs> he hit the critical. With that high fly flow. And I think. <laughs> I think the high fly flow killed Markabe. Because <laughs> he's hit it. And Markabe didn't get up. Wow. I think that's like the second critical finish we've seen. As Tanaji hits the high fly flow, Markabe doesn't get up. Doesn't even get to go for the pin. Markabe is just unable to continue. And that counts Togi Makabe out of the G1 Climax as Tanahashi continues his undefeated streak here. Absolutely amazing. And now, next match. It's going to be the ace of New Japan. Arguably one of the best professional wrestlers in the world today. Versus Kazuchika Okada. Here we go. Tire. Yeah, Jihashi with an overhand strike. An ultimate match here. Scoop slam connecting. And yeah, Jihashi been very impressive thus far. We know Vorikana can just make that so much better. As it goes down, driving that knee in between the shoulder blades. Okada. Good counter there by Yoshihashi. Goes into the stops. The Harsh, as I call him. Scoop slam out of the ring, falls Okada. He's actually following him. Oh, I chopped straight to the head. Now, oh, into the go. I don't like where this is going. They're fighting into the crowd now. Yoshi Hashi whips him. Disc his elbow doesn't connect. They're, oh god. They're fighting into the crowd. I don't know why. They slide back in now. Another tie up. Overhand strike. Another tie up. Scoop slam. Oh, a shoulder breaker. Okada back in control now. Working the arm with the elbow. Straight to the elbow of Okada. Another shoulder break again. Okada's shoulders. Must be in a lot of pain here. Get the suplex there. Oh, oh, they're back and forth with these strikes. Off the rope? No. And a boot. Oh no, he goes for that uh, sliding forearm instead of the boot. I should stop calling things before they happen. Drop kick by Okada. Absolutely beautiful. Now off the ropes again. Oh, look at that Hurricane Runner! Another scoop slam out of him, they go once more. Kick, whoa! Take down! Now yeah, try to push him in the corner. Oh, those overhand chops are right across the chest by Okada. Sitting with that uh, arm bar there. Super kick by Yoshihashi! Shades of Shawn Michaels. Sliding baseball kick straight to the head there. Tie up again to the corner. 
Oh god, those chops, you can hear him from here, right across the chest of Yoji Hashi. Kick out there. Off the ropes once, Mono. I'll tie up again. Scoop slammed by Yoji Hashi. Another super kick connecting! Into a submission hold here. Yoshi Hashi could make a cutter tap out. Oh, suplex by Okada. Back up, drop kick doesn't connect. He lands on his stomach, missing everything. Now off the ropes. They're both coming here. Close line. Okada again sliding through. Out of the ring he goes. Yashi taunting. And code breaker by Yoshi Hashi. They're both down though. Four run by Yoshi. Four run by Okada. Goes behind. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Yoshi Hashi. Two. Four. Oh no. <laughs> he kicks down. Hook in the leg. Okada. Almost pinned Yoshi off of doing nothing. <laughs> And that was Ichi's finish, Karma. And again now, Yoshi Hashi trying to find offense here. And he comes off the ropes, clothesline, pulling a cutter to his feet. Another step up in Zagiri. Waiting to get to his feet, they tie up. Another one! Okada might have a concussion here. Dragging him away from the ropes. Yoshi Hashi. Rainmaker, maybe. No, Okada! Off the rope, another dropkick here. Yes, no! Oh, Oyoji Ashi just took the dropkick and absorbed it essentially, and now transitioning into a guillotine choke or a variation thereof. And he's stretching out the arm as well. Trying to pull the shoulder out of socket. Okada gone for the dropkick again, maybe. No, it goes behind. Bridging German suplex! The neck of Oyoji Ashi crashing down onto the canvas. Chop across the chest of Okada. Tie up again. Okada, tombstone pile driver! Point Yoshihashi to his feet, going behind. Rainmaker, no! Yoshihashi! Just need in their ribs. And Okada in control, but Yoshihashi straight back up. He's resilient. You can't keep this man down. Another tie up, forearm, chop. These two just going back and forth here. Okada, drop kick. Discus Lariat by Yoshihashi. Forearm. Oh no, not a forearm, an axe handle. Super kick once more by Yoshihashi! But Okada! Tombstone! That's gotta do it! Pulling Yoshihashi back to his feet! Whoa! Turning into a backdrop suplex there! But Yoshihashi straight back up! Tie up! Another tombstone! Connecting! How much more can Yoshihashi take? Pinfall! One, two, three, no! Yoshihashi kicks out again, off the ropes now. Drop kick maybe, no, clothesline instead. Rainmaker pose! Okada setting up for it. The finishing blow, no! Drop kick! Okada now. Another drop kick, no, clothesline. You keep surprising me, Okada. Rainmaker pose, will he do it this time? Instead he comes off the ropes, another drop kick to the back of the head of Yoshihashi! Forearm! Off the ropes again. Close lines and drop kicks all over the place from Okada. They go once more, go behind! Rainmaker! Turning Yoshi inside out, going up to the top now, what's he doing? Elbow drop! The Rainmaker wasn't enough, he has to drop the elbow. He didn't try and pin him after the Rainmaker. That surprises me. I would thought you go for the pin after hitting your finishing move. He doesn't. He decides to continue onward, and I mean, that could be costly. Yoshihashi 
How much more does he have left in the tank here? Holy shit, a Santon by Yoshihashi from the top rope. But they're both down. Neither man. Able to get a foothold here. Kick drops. Yoshihashi's got nothing left. He's so worn out. Okada, barely able to stand himself. Rainmaker again! That's got to do it! One, two, three! Okada picks up the win. In an incredible match. Okada with the win over Yoshihashi. Just shy of a 17 minute brawl from those two men. That final Rainmaker puts Yoshihashi away. 94% match rating. But we'll go into our final match here for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Between Minoru Suzuki and Big Mike. If Michael Elgin wins, he'll go into six points. If Suzuki wins, he goes up on eight. If Suzuki fails to win, Hiroshi Tanahashi would be two whole wins ahead of everyone else in this block. Which is insane to think about. Tanahashi will have a huge edge over everyone if he can win this. Or if, if Suzuki fails to win this. But keep in mind, Suzuki, if he wins this, he'll put his record up to 4 and 1. The only loss he's had so far has been to the block leader, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Try and tie up again. Oh, a big slap boy. Need the midsection. Suzuki, you now trying to go for a sleeper hold here on Big Mike. Might not be able to succeed, he doesn't. And a big punch. Elbow. This could be a, this could be a hard hitting affair right here. As Night 9 draws to a close, we near that halfway point here of the G1 climax. Elgin with an overhand strike. And again, working over Suzuki. Off no into the corner, but nothing comes of it. Now, sending Elgin to the ropes. Drop kick to the knee by Suzuki. And a good shot. Type one's more good. Sidewalk slam by Big Mike. Oh, nice block there. Too much here, chop the chest. Oh, they're back and forth now with these chops right across the chest of each other. Mike standing toe to toe with Suzuki, but he drops down into this leg lock. Going a leg away from Big Mike. Drop. Oh, where that takedown misses. He's now starts to work the arm, that left arm, left shoulder, more specifically, of Michael Elgin being worked over. Slap. DDT by Michael Elgin. To, oh, oh, went for the kick, but Suzuki caught him mid-kick with a takedown and transitioning into this grapevine ankle lock. Beautiful ring awareness of Minoru Suzuki. But Elgin into an SDF. Near the ropes, though. Suzuki gets out of it. Grabbing a hold. Sidewalk slam. Ah, oh, that five-minute mark down. Oh, that clothesline does not connect. Slap across the face of, by Suzuki. Suzuki now kind of drag Elgin back to the middle. Off the ropes he comes. PK! By Suzuki. Oh god, these chops overhead repeatedly wearing Michael Elgin down. Now with the arm dragging him back away from the corner. And transitioning into this ankle lock. Again. The wear and tear that Michael Elgin's body is taking right now. Good takedown. Off the ropes. Elbow drop. Another DT, and now, look at this. Guillotine choke. Another DT, into another guillotine choke. Oh, a forearm straight to the Elgin just drops. And now into this face lock here, arching it really, it just twist, also is twisting the spine of Michael Elgin in that hold. 
now off the ropes, holds on. And again in this octopus hole here. Elgin's body being stretched out. Almost every limb. Take down by Big Mike. DDT into another guillotine. Trying to choke Mike out this way. Will it be enough though? No, Elgin still in this. Another. No, he hits the DT this time. He hasn't transitioned to the guillotine, but now STF center of the ring. Suzuki's got nowhere to go. A lot of submission attempts in this matchup. Headbutt by Michael Elgin. And again into the STF. Oh god, that strike from Elgin. And look at this running power slam! But Elgin not going to go for a pin here. Oh my god. Got style. Pile driving Elgin. Pin. Two. Three. Suzuki puts away Elgin in just over 10 minutes. Fantastic main event there. And Suzuki picking up the win there in the main event of Night 9, the G1 Climax. That's going to put him in a good position overall. We can just go back to the rankings. See Tanahashi up there. 10 points. Suzuki behind him on 8. Okada, Evil, and Jay White all tied on 6. Then Elgin, Yoshihashi, and Hangman on 4. Farley on 2. And then Makabe, who's out of contention now, on 0. Farley, I mean, he still has a chance, but... It looks very unlikely from where he is. Tanahashi, one minute ahead, and then one minute ahead of the guy who's in third place. Things are looking really good for the ace. And that does it for Night 9 of the G1 Climax. Join us next time as we go into Night 10. With some big matches playing like Goto vs. Naito, Omega vs. Sedana, Ishii vs. Ibushi, and many more. Well, actually just two more, but you know. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.